The following is a production of Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Squid are really a keystone taxa, keystone animal in the marine environment. Uh, we like to think of that nearly every animal in the ocean is eaten or eats squid at some point in its life cycle. And they also seem to be fairly successful as the ocean is changing, where we see a lot of other taxa impacted by things like ocean acidification or warming. Squid are still doing pretty well, and so we're trying to figure out how they can potentially leverage the ocean conditions as they change. Historically, squid have been pretty hard to uh, tag and, and sort of learn about in their environment. Um, they're soft-bodied invertebrates, so there's not a lot of hard attachments to uh, affix a, a tag or a sensor like this that we have here. Yeah, so we're going to tag this one right in the center right now. All right, let's see. One more, and then we're ready to go. We sort of innovated a new way to attach this, this tag to squid. We've been working on this project now for about two, two and a half years. Where we've been kind of developing the board, developing the sensors that are going to go into this, how we're going to tag the squid, how we hold the squid, how can we successfully keep the squid alive as we release it. Nine ten. I don't hear him, so he's he's under the water somewhere. It's good. So we spent a lot of time in the lab really trying to discern whether our tag is going to influence the behavior of the animal. It's neutrally buoyant in the water, so there's not really any mass or, or weight on the animal. While it's sort of a big backpack, it's sort of a, a really light backpack that the animal can carry around. And so we think that, yeah, we're really getting sort of the natural behavior of the animal. Basically, it's sort of a Fitbit for the squid, so it gets their, their movement pattern. So it has an accelerometer, a magnetometer, and a gyroscope, and that sort of gets us um, the, the pitch and the roll of the heading of the squid that is traveling. And that really gets, allows us to get at its sort of energetic patterns, or basically what it's doing on a, on a daily basis. And then we're also measuring uh, oxygen and temperature and uh, light levels as well. Um, it really sort of gives us a picture of what the squid's doing, but also the local environment. In our lab, I, I will tag uh, animals and I'll use concurrent video data to figure out what, how different swimming behaviors correspond to different acceleration readings. Once we get the data back from the tag, we can kind of use those accelerate or accelerometer signatures to figure out what that animal was doing. The idea is that this is a really flexible tag, so we have an electronics portion and then the base is just 3D printed and we can print that to fit any other animal that we would like it to fit. So we're looking to you know, put this on sharks and rays and, and other fishes that we think are sort of important as well.
To learn more about Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, visit us on the web at www.whoi.edu.